It's gonna. Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Element of Frost, and I'm back here with Matt the Rat, people. And uh, yeah, we are doing the Walking Dead reviews. Matt, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. I'm the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the Walking Dead reviews, people. Uh, yeah, so me and Matt had this idea of doing a review on the Walking Dead every Monday, and you know, newsflash: this is a Tuesday. She's a Tuesday, but, uh, you know, we didn't do it yesterday, so we're just doing it today. We're actually going to start it next week, but then I was like, you know what, fuck it, YOLO. Anyway, uh, so yeah, The Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 7. I was about to say that in reverse. I was about to be like, Season 7, Episode 3. I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, uh, yeah, Season 3, Episode 7. Uh, no, Matt, it is not a test. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, Season 3, Episode 7. When the dead come knocking. I think that's what it's yeah. that, 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 <laughs> Okay, so basically, it started off with Michonne. With, uh, yeah. like, zombies right beside her at the exactly. prison. Exactly. I thought that was actually, I thought that was really, really cool that, uh... They brought back kinda, from, like, I episode kinda, from season one, when Glenn and Rick put all the guns yeah. up on them. They kind of brought that kind of... Back. Yeah, they brought that. Yeah, they brought that back into play with uh, Michelle when he, when she uh, previously the last week actually cut that zombie open when Merle was chasing her and uh, you know did that whole thing and uh, yeah I think it was I thought it was really really cool that they brought that back just because uh, that is sort of a realistic theme of what you could do because you know zombies are completely oblivious to what's actually going around all around them all they yeah all, all that's going through their mind uh, I, I guess technically mind i guess stem of the brain but anyway all that they are thinking about well okay i can't really say thinking either but besides the point <laughs> uh yeah all that all that's happening with them is they're just constantly wanting just food and that's all they care about and unless you chop off their jaws or yeah their yeah uh, take out their teeth like you know, the governor and Merle and stuff does. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I, I'm glad they brought that back just because that's actually a realistic thing because zombies' brains don't function, you know, quite as well as everybody else, and they only go by smell of humans and, uh, you know, just, animals. I guess, I guess the sight of them and the animals and stuff. But obviously when they smell, uh, when they smell their own, they're, they're going to ignore it. And, yeah. uh... So yeah, I'm, I'm glad they brought that back. I think that was really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so moving on to, I guess, the next segment. And the next segment, God, God. oh yeah, that, no, it was still with Michonne. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> it was when they found, when they brought Michonne in and when Carl yeah, thought, saved her. I thought it was really, really funny. Uh, Carl actually, uh, th it was brought up on the Talking Dead too. Uh, Carl asked Rick a question. I guess it was kind of rhetorical, but he asked Rick a question. He was like, should we save her? And then he just started shooting the zombies. Like, without even a response, he just started helping out Michonne. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, it wasn't really a rhetorical question. And, uh, yeah, I just thought that was really cool because I, I guess that's Carl's character developing, right, Matt? Yeah, I didn't get to really watch The Talking Dead. I forgot to watch it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, for those of you that don't know... Uh, uh, oh, crap, I knew her name. There was uh, one girl on it, and then there was WWE Superstar CM Punk on it. And that was actually really entertaining, because you guys know that I love CM Punk, and, uh, you know, he's straight edge, and that's pretty much where I got my stuff from. And, uh, yeah, so just seeing wrestling, CM Punk mixed in with my favorite TV show, that, that was really, really cool. But, uh, anyway... The Walking Dead, not the Talking Dead, Matt. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they they help Michonne in, and uh, they pretty much just asked her what her her wounds were, and uh, they found uh, it was a gunshot. Later. Yeah, obviously. Hope oh, yeah, that would have been a good thing. Rick probably would have just shot it right then and there if it was played, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so Herschel treated her, and you know stuff like that, but. Uh, uh, yeah, she started talking about, uh, actually Rick brought up the point about, uh, they got the formula, she brought the formula with her, mm -hmm. and, uh, asked her where she got that from, and she was like, an Asian boy actually dropped that, so, 
Uh, then it was obviously a fishy story between, you know, <laughs> who actually kidnapped the Asian boy and his girlfriend. And uh, obviously that was Merle, but, you know, Rick and stuff, they don't know that actually Merle is still alive, so they wouldn't really well, know that. No, they knew that he was alive because they saw traces of him in season uh, one. Yeah, but I mean, they like... Chances are, you know what I mean? Like, if you cut off your hand and you start making it out the fire escape, chances are you're not going to survive. But don't yeah. you mute your mic. Don't you mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the screen on Skype. as mute as mic. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's what I was... Uh, I was really thinking... Unmute that mic. It is unmuted. You did, no, you had it muted. All right, anyway. Um... <laughs> Where was I, anyway, before we started meeting each other's mics? Each other's mics. Well, you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, um, talk about Merle. And... Yeah, Merle. Merle, Merle, Merle. Yeah, they didn't really know that Merle, uh, you know, for sure survived. And, you know, like I said, if they, if they cut off his hand and uh, escape through a fire escape through Atlanta, which is completely infested, chances are you're not really going to make it alone, uh, alive. But, you know, if you're a badass like Merle is, then... Uh, you're always gonna survive no matter what. I mean, you can cut off both of your legs, and he would he would fucking find a way to get out of there. But I have a question for you, actually. Him and Daryl are just so much, uh, you know, survivalist and stuff. Right. Anyway, go on, Matt. I have a question for you. Okay. Who do you think is more badass, Daryl or Merle? Definitely Daryl. Definitely Daryl. Daryl's definitely more badass. <laughs> uh, mostly because we've seen more of him. Then Daryl, because, you know, through season one, season two, and obviously season three, he's just been such a badass with that freaking crossbow. Oh, my God, it's so actually, awesome. I can actually explain why Daryl is more of a badass. <laughs> Go on. All right, well, we saw that Merle was taking orders from the governor, so it, he obviously has turned into a bit of a puss uh, puss. Uh, not really a puss puss though. I mean, Governor kind of did save his life and give him that arm that he has now. So I mean, yeah, but... I guess I guess he figures in a way that he owes him. But uh, besides your question, I think uh, I guess we're gonna move into the topic of whether or not he's actually gonna betray the governor. And I really think that he is because well, uh, the governor, the, yeah, the governor has been testing him and testing him and testing him with uh, saying you know that his brother is probably not alive, and it's not worth the risk and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Merle keeps on, just keeps on going with uh, with the fact that, you know, it's my brother, I'll, I'm going to do anything to save him, you get in my way, I'll kill you type of deal, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping this occurs uh, this episode on episode 8, I'm really hoping that it occurs. Season finale, well, the midway season. Yeah, midway season finale, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that it occurs then that uh, he will betray the governor, and when you know the governor maybe tries to kill Daryl or you know something like that is gonna I, happen. Personally, I want to see Andrea dead because she has her too. She's already her. fucked. I mean, she left Michonne, which Michonne kept her alive for like the whole winter. But besides that point, and so yeah, we we kind of you know we kind of cut this a little short. Gameplay's a little short, but we're gonna keep going. Just real quick, I know that entire episode, which is pretty much about Merle and Michonne at the start of the episode, but we didn't even get really halfway through it. Because technically, you know, Daryl, Rick, Michonne, and... Who, wait, who was the other... Uh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. What was his name? The black guy. The random black guy prisoner. Anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All four of those guys went, actually, to find Maggie and Glenn back at the... Uh, back at Woodbury. And uh, they actually made it into the forest, well, sort of forest, and uh, yeah, they made it to a cabin where actually, you know, probably crackhead hobo was actually laying in his bed, and uh, basically didn't know anything about the zombie apocalypse and the and, or you know the relevance of anything that was actually going on in the world at that time. But uh, you know, I'm going at it fast because I'm trying to not make it too too boring because I mean, you guys are obviously. Uh, watching a pretty much a blank screen right now. It's actually, you know, the scoreboard or just the frozen screen because the gameplay cut off. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what happened in the uh, shack thing. Anyway, they got to Woodbury, and uh, that's pretty much it. They just they were scouting out uh, pretty much the defenses they had and everything like that. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the episode. But next time we will come prepared with a bigger gameplay. And if maybe not a bigger gameplay, two gameplays. <laughs> well, but, actually, um, there's, there's one more big thing that happened. And that was just when uh, uh, Merle was talking to Glenn and then the governor was talking to Maggie. Yeah, I think that was really, really cool. Uh, they're actually, I didn't really want that to happen because, I mean, technically the governor was actually supposed to rape Michonne because that's what happened actually in the graphic novel. Uh, but I, I was actually thinking they were going to substitute Michonne for Maggie and it was sort of, it wasn't a rape obviously because I'd actually take family dynamics and I know the difference between these things. It wasn't rape, it was obviously molestation. Uh, not child molestation because a lot of people associate molestation with child but a uh, completely different thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it wasn't rape, molestation, and that's pretty much happened with Maggie, and, uh, yeah, Glenn just pretty much got Glenn beat. is a badass, and beat yeah, him being like, up. He is such a freaking badass. Like, up until now, you've seen him run around really, really quickly, going, scouting for supplies, you know, an in-and-out kind of guy, but this time, he stayed, he beat the fucking shit out of the zombie, like, uh, <laughs> he could be a leader, he can do everything, literally can do everything he's quick he's fast and as we've seen in the past episode he can be aggressive as hell but uh yeah i think they better watch out for that anyway yeah that's pretty much it so you guys have been watching pretty much a blank screen for the last couple of minutes uh i'll probably put uh my twitter link and matt's twitter link uh on the screen sort of right now uh just to entertain you guys with that you can go to our twitter and read some of our retarded tweets because matt never really tweets at all but i mean you can read my tweets and I never really tweet at all anymore, but anyway, that's it. So we were come prepared with either two gameplays or a big ass long gameplay next time, just so you guys can be entertained by that. Uh, maybe we'll actually, you know what, would be fucking awesome if we can get a big zombies gameplay for each Walking yeah, Dead episode. Yeah. That would, that would, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, we'll do that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, next time you'll be seeing us, you'll be seeing some Nazi zombies gameplay. Sorry, they don't call it Nazi zombies anymore. That's not politically correct, and they probably could get in trouble for that. But anyway, uh, yeah. They did get in trouble it, for it in uh, World of War. Didn't yeah, no. one country, didn't they change it from Nazi zombies to zombies or something like that? In the yeah, probably. Anyway, besides that fact, this is a Walking Dead review, not the Nazi zombies review. And that's pretty much it for now. So we will see you next time on the review of the mid-season finale. Uh, but yeah, not really sure what that is going to be. Season 3, Episode 8. Not really sure what that's going to be called yet, but I will definitely find out, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Peace. Fish monkey. Oh, God, I can't do that. I'm sick. Bye.